Hello and welcome to another episode of the CWT Business Audio Show. I'm trying to start a business and I'm basically podcasting that entire journey. In this episode, I want to talk about boosting company profits because that's something that's actually a you know, something I want to make sure that I do this year. So last year, my entire focus was growing my investment blog, which is financebycwt.com. That's basically my business. I run an investment blog. I write about stocks. I write about what's happening in the market. I do analysis on different companies. And I post that all on a blog, financebycwt.com. And running that blog is not free. You know, I have to pay for the domain name. I have to pay the website to let me actually attach my domain name to begin with. I mean, it's not a lot of money or anything like that. But basically, actually running it, like running ads and everything, there's basically a lot of different expenses that comes with it, you know, since that I actually want to grow this into a business. And last year, money wasn't something I really worried about too much with the business because, I mean, it just wasn't time to. Like, if there's no audience there, then it doesn't matter how many monetization, like, like different streams of income I can create from the blog if no one reads it in the first place because then no one's there to actually, you know, look at the products, look at the ads, look at whatever I decide to do. And while that's still, you know, 100% the main goal this year, my main goal this year is to grow finance by CWT as much as I possibly can. I also want to make sure that it at least, you know, brings in some money. And it, 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 did, it did bring in money last year. You know, one of the first things I was able to do, after a few months of creating the blog, I was able to get accepted into the Google AdSense program. And that's basically 100% of how I made money last year concerning this business. You know, by, able, by, able, by being able to put it in there, you know, Google now puts ads on all my articles, and every time someone sees them, I get paid basically a penny. If I like, basically, when I looked at you know how much I was making per viewer, ends up being every time someone reads an article, I make a penny, which you know obviously doesn't sound like a lot, but if you can get you know a million people to read your blog post, you're actually doing pretty well. Which obviously I have not gotten that yet, but I'm hoping to. But anyway, with that. I'm I'm really trying to, you know, find other revenue sources because while, you know, that is one and is an important one, it's not going to actually do too much, you know, at this moment. Like, there's definitely a bunch of better ways to monetize, to monetize a platform like this. So, you know, with some other things that I have been looking at is if you watch my last podcast episode, I talked about how I launched an affiliate marketing store. And this one, this is actually really cool. So, you know, obviously running this investment blog, I, myself, you know, I use a lot of different finance products and services. And I'm using all of these to actually, you know, do investing myself or just handle personal finance myself. And so I'm using these and this is the kind of stuff that I'm writing about. And I, I kind of just realized, I'm like, all the stuff I'm using would probably also benefit the audience that the blog has gotten. And with that in mind, I was like, all of them have referral programs. I can basically create a page of referral links. You know, every time someone does one, you know, I'll get money and they will. Because each of them are doing like basically cash giveaways, people that sign up through my platform. You know, one of those that I've been using is, well, I've been using a bunch of actual investing apps. But besides investing apps, I've been using the SoFi credit card. And that's a credit card that I use myself. So... Because of that, and I really like the credit card, I was like, there's probably people that read my blog that would like it as well. So I threw it on the affiliate page. And every time someone signs up for a credit card through my link, basically I get like 100 bucks, And they get like 50 bucks for doing it, which incentivizes them because they're like, oh, I can sign up for this credit card and I'll get $50. That's pretty cool. And then, you know, I get $100 because I'm the one who like, showed it to them. But, you know, with that, you know, if you can get, you know, a thousand people to do it, that's $100,000. And that's awesome. Not saying I can do that, but the fact that there's a the the fact that there's an opportunity there is something that I really like. So that's another way I can boost revenue. And the credit card, I think it's gonna be probably the hardest. You know, I also have a bunch of investing apps on there. I think it'll be a lot easier. If you're reading about stocks, odds are that you want to buy them, which means you need a platform to do it on. So that's kind of one thing that I've been doing. 
you know, I have the stuff I investing app, I have the Acorns investing app, and all these are on the affiliate page. And that's a way that I think is going to be a pretty big revenue booster this year. I think that's going to be responsible for a lot of my company's revenue this year. And I'm definitely excited about that. And there's other ways I want to boost revenue too. Like even this podcast, for instance, you know, when I was making my Excel sheet at the end of the year last year, and I was putting all the revenue, you know, the company made on there, you know, I looked at this podcast and I, I did not post on this podcast much at all last year. You know, it's not even February yet. And I'm pretty sure I've posted on this pack on this podcast more this year than I did all of last year. You know, I was fully focused on the blog, so I didn't really do much with the podcast. Even with that being said, obviously my blog accounted for most of the revenue brought in, but this podcast was second. And I looked at that, and it's also a podcast I really enjoyed doing, so I was like, I should take more time and do those episodes. And since I've been posting them out, and obviously it's still monetized, like not on YouTube, but on the actual podcast, on the podcast platforms themselves, it's monetized which means I can bring in revenue from it through sponsorships. And that's something that I've not gotten on my blog yet. I have affiliate links, you know, and I have ads on there, but I don't have an actual true sponsor just for the blog. But I do on the podcast. So, you know, doing these podcast episodes are boosting revenue, you know, because I'm actually able to put my sponsorships on them. And I talked about my affiliate page, which I can get in the link in the description. And, you know, with that, not only can I get signups for my affiliate page, I can get the podcast sponsors to begin with. And that's another thing that I hope is going to be kind of a game changer this year compared to last year. If I can continue to grow this podcast, which I think I can, you know, I didn't really post last year and it still did, you know, fairly well. With that in mind, I think by actually posting, I could probably do a little bit better. You know, I think so. But, yeah, with that, because I'm able to get the sponsorships on that, I think this podcast is going to be kind of a game changer. I think as my investment blog gets more popular, I'm really excited to see what that's going to end up doing. And, you know, I think that's tremendously exciting, like the possibilities with that. And I do think this affiliate page is also going to be a game changer because it gives me an even better way to actually monetize the platforms. So, you know, with this, I want the affiliate page to monetize this podcast. I want it to monetize my blog, you know, my investment blog. I want it to monetize my crypto blog, you know, just the business blog I do. Like, all the content that I produce, I want this affiliate page to be mentioned on it because, you know, it's such a good opportunity. You know, the faster that grows, you know, that's absolutely amazing. And I think that it will. You know, I've been looking at it now, and I've so far, I made one podcast episode featuring the affiliate link. And I made one blog post featuring the affiliate link. And that's really been it. And, you know, there's no SEO or anything on it. Nobody can find that affiliate link except through my content. And I've already been looking at how many people have actually been going over to it. It's actually not been bad. It surprised me how many people have actually clicked it so far. So, you know, with that in mind, I think there is a lot of opportunity with it. So those are kind of the ways that I want to boost revenue. I still want, I'm still using Google Ads. You know, it's a good opportunity. I have the affiliate page now, and I want to do sponsorships on the blog. It would be cool if I could find an actual, you know, investment platform that I can feature on there as a number one sponsor and, you know, make money that way. But I'm really excited for these. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of the COBT Business Audio Show, and I hope to see you all on the next one. Thank you.